What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. On today's episode I'm going to try out a little bit of amateur taxidermy. I've got the 8 point that I killed this year. Uh, watch my video on Hunt, Shoot, Live if you want to see that hunt. But his right side G2 is broke off. Uh, I do have some film of this buck in the early season so I do in fact know that he was very symmetrical and looked um, his right side looked just like his left in the early season so what I'm going to do is try to repair that tine so all you've got to do to be able to do that I have ordered epoxy sculpt 20 bucks off of Amazon gets me more than enough to be able to do this one and I'll probably be able to uh, repair some other old racks that I've got um, simple process clean the rack really good I've got my Dremel I've got a, a brush attachment on my Dremel a little wheel brush attachment I'm gonna clean the horn uh, the broken section of the horn off really well and then I will drill a hole down into that part where I will insert a piece of coat hanger that I have cut and then with the coat hanger inserted into that broken piece I will super glue it in give it time to dry I will mix my epoxy sculpt compound together get it in the shape that I need it to be slide it down on my piece of coat hanger let that dry, takes 24 hours, and then I'll put a sanding head on my Dremel, shape it up really nice, and then get some stain and stain it the color that I need it to be to match the rack. So, that's easy to say. Let's see how, let's see how easy it is to actually do. sculpt. You can see I've got it formed. The piece of coat hanger is glued in. So that's ready. I'm going to set that aside. And now you've got your part A and part B of the epoxy sculpt. Just going to get two equal parts of that mixture. You do need to wear gloves. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Just get two equal parts. Start mixing it together and we'll see what we got. You're supposed to use different gloves or different utensils to get each part. That looks like equal parts. Just go ahead and start mixing together. It is supposed to be mixed thoroughly when it is one uniform color. And it is definitely one uniform color now. I've just been folding it over on itself. Uh, it's supposed to be very pliable like this for about 30 minutes. And it says it's the easiest to work with within the one to two hour mark after you've mixed it. It starts to set up and get into really good forming detail within that two to three hour mark and then after 24 hours it's completely hardened and you can use the Dremel tool on it and so forth. Kind of can start matching it up here. Obviously I've got way more than I need. I can uh, 
I'm going to let it dry and I'll dremel it down after it dries. 24 hours. Okay, my epoxy sculpt has dried up, hard as a rock. So now I have transitioned to outside because I'm going to fire the dremel up and I'm going to sand that thing down until it looks like I want it to. Finished sanding. Looks really good. Take your Dremel, trim it down till it looks like the time you want it to look like. And there you go. So now I've just got to uh, just got to get the color right. I am ready to paint. I have sampled a few different colors on another rack that I've got. Um, so we'll see. I've went with uh, that color. It's called Moose Moose. And it's uh, sort of a tan-like color. But I guess the good thing about paint is uh, you can always, if you don't like it, you can always just paint right back over top of it. And I did leave myself a little bit of thickness with this. I mean, if I absolutely had to, I could sand it back down. So, uh, just got me a paintbrush. Got my paint. Brush it on. The paint has dried and it is looking really good. All I'm going to do now, I've went outside and I've just got some mud, some dirt, leaves. And I'm just kind of going to rub it on here and uh, sort of, uh, that, that will blend it a little bit with just the way the horns naturally look. I mean, the horns don't, the horns aren't dirty. I have cleaned these, uh, but it's not that, that smooth texture of, of that satin or that semi-gloss paint does not 100% match. So I'm just taking this little bit of mud and uh, kind of rub it on there a little bit give it some irregularities. It looks better. I mean, it looks it's looking good already just with a little bit on there. You know, just getting some of those irregularities to match the other horn. And uh, and that's going to be it. You know, after that, I mean, this is, this is a finished product. I am extremely pleased with how this turned out. I don't have, uh, you know, I ordered this, the uh, epoxy sculpt from uh, from Amazon, it was 15, 20 bucks to get that, and uh, just taking t takes time, took a couple days to go through the process to do this, but it was definitely not difficult. I would, I'm, I'm sure that just about anybody that just wanted to take the time to do it uh, would, would be able to do it. Looks uh, looks very very good. Here's the epoxy sculpt. Got it off of Amazon. 15, 20 bucks. Super easy. Got a broke tine on uh, on a deer you've killed. I encourage you to try this. Very simple. Definitely, definitely worth doing. I am very pleased with that. Very pleased. And I use these. Uh, also got these off of Amazon. You can get them in the single packs or the uh, multiple packs, just the deer wall hangers. Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my channel for all kinds of other hunting and shooting related videos. Until next time, God bless.